Stoichiometry is the branch of chemistry that measures quantitative relationships between reactants and products. Now, stoichiometry can be used to determine the amount of reactants that are needed to produce a given amount of a specific product. And that is what this video will cover. So let's use stoichiometry and see how we can calculate the amount of reactants that would be needed to produce a specific amount of product. The sample problem we will uh, work through will be how will you prepare 2 grams of a precipitate by reacting barium chloride dihydrate with silver nitrate. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to write out my equation. So I've written barium chloride dihydrate plus silver nitrate. Now this is going to be a double replacement reaction where the barium and the silver will trade places resulting in barium nitrate as one of our products and silver chloride as our second product. Right here the dihydrate becomes our water. The next thing we want to do is to write out a balanced equation. Okay, we have uh, written our uh, equation correctly. We have barium chloride dihydrate. Barium has a plus 2 chlorine negative 1 crisscross. We get BaCl2. We have dihydrate, which means two waters. Silver nitrate. Silver has a plus 1. Nitrate has a negative 1 crisscross. We get in, uh, AgNO3. This makes the product barium nitrate. Barium has a plus 2. Nitrate is NO3, has a negative 1 crisscross. We get BaNO3 2. And the other product is silver chloride. Silver has a plus 1. Chlorine has a negative 1 crisscross. Now we need to uh, look at our equation and balance. We'll notice that our bariums are balanced. Our chlorines are not balanced. Our water is not balanced. Silver is balanced, and our nitrates are not balanced. So we will now pause and balance the equation. We now have a balanced chemical equation. Now the next thing we will do is determine the mass of our chemical compounds. Now let's go back over how to determine the mass of our chemicals. Let's use our water as an example. Now with our water, we have H2O. We have two hydrogens from the periodic table. Each hydrogen weighs one, so two times one is two. We have one oxygen from the periodic table. It weighs 16. We add the 16 plus the two, and we would get the mass of water as being 18. Now we will determine the uh, molecular mass of all of the other chemical compounds and we will place those in their corresponding boxes. Just as a reminder, when I'm coming up with the mass of barium chloride dihydrate, I find the mass of one barium plus the mass of two chlorines plus the mass of two waters. So the mass of the two waters would be 36. So we've taken the mass of the uh, barium which is 137. We've taken the mass of two chlorines, 35, so 2 times 35 is uh, 70. We take the mass of two waters, which would be um, each water being 18, so 2 times 18 is 36. And so what we end up with is 137 plus 70 plus 36, and we should have close to 243 as our answer. If we go back to our original problem, uh, it said, how would you prepare 2 grams of precipitate by reacting barium chloride dihydrate with silver nitrate? We now must determine which of our two products will be the precipitant. To do so, we will use the chart that I have below. So on this chart, we will see the X's which represent our uh, soluble substances, those that go into solution, and we see the open area, and this represents those that become precipitants. We're going to be looking at our barium nitrate and our silver chloride to determine which one of these will be our precipitant. We're going to look right here at silver 
Now remember that chlorine is a halogen. It's in group 17 from the periodic table. So we follow this over and we see that silver chloride would be soluble. So this is not the chemical I'm looking for. I'll follow over barium, follow down for my nitrate, and I would see that barium nitrate forms the precipitate. And the precipitate on this chart would be those that have no X. So we will now want to calculate how much barium chloride dihydrate and how much silver nitrate we need to mix together to do an experiment so that we can make 2 grams of barium nitrate. And before I move on, uh, just as a reminder, this is just one of many solubility tables that you can pull off of the internet to use to determine which product makes the precipitant. So we're looking at the precipitant barium nitrate. Remember that its molecular weight is 261.3. I need to calculate the number of moles of precipitant of barium nitrate to be formed. Now to do this calculation we want to make 2 grams of barium nitrate so we're going to multiply 2 grams times 1 mole over the weight of barium nitrate from the periodic table. Grams cancel out we would get 0 .0076 moles of our precipitant and so that would be our number of moles of precipitant. So we have our equation written out, we have our balanced equation, and we have the weights from the periodic table. We're now going to cancel out units and we're going to determine the mass of each reactant required to make the 2 grams of our precipitant. First we need to determine the number of moles of each reactant and product. Now we calculated the number of moles of barium nitrate on the previous slide and that was 0 .0076. To calculate the number of moles of our reactants and our products, we can do a mole-mole conversion. Now doing our mole-mole conversion will look like the following. We will take the 0 .0076 moles of the barium nitrate that we received from the previous slide we're going to multiply that times one mole of barium chloride dihydrate. We do this because there's a coefficient of one right here. Divide that by one mole of barium nitrate, again because there's a coefficient of one here. And so we will see that in this box for the barium chloride dihydrate, we would have 0 .0076 as our number of moles. Now to determine the number of moles of silver nitrate that's needed, we will take the 0 .0076 moles of barium nitrate and we will do a mole-mole conversion. We will have two moles of silver nitrate on top because we have a coefficient of two in our equation over the one mole of barium nitrate because we have a coefficient of one in our equation. The moles of barium nitrate would cancel out we do the math and we would have 0 .0153 as our number of moles for our silver nitrate. Now you will notice that on both of these equations I left a lot of units out and I did so because of space. So this right here should say 0 .0076 moles of barium nitrate times 2 moles of silver nitrate over 1 mole of barium nitrate. Now we get the 2 because of the coefficient of the silver nitrate and we get the 1 because of the coefficient of the barium nitrate. And so our 0 .0153 will go in this space right here. Now if we set up our problem for our silver chloride, because we have a coefficient of 2 and a coefficient of 1, we will have the same setup here. And so we would have 0 .0153 for this box as well. And the same for the water because we have a coefficient of 2 in front of the water and a coefficient of 1 in front of the barium nitrate. This setup again would be 0 .0076 moles of barium nitrate times 2 moles of water over 1 mole of barium nitrate. Now that we've calculated the number of moles of each reactant and product, we now need to calculate the mass of each reactant and the mass of each product. So to calculate the number of grams that we need 
of our barium chloride dihydrate. Notice that I put their weights from the periodic table uh, right up here on top, and we calculated these weights several slides back. So we're going to take our 0 0.076 moles of barium chloride dihydrate. We're going to multiply that times 243 0.33, which is the molecular mass of barium chloride dihydrate, divided by one mole of barium chloride dihydrate. Moles will cancel, and we are now in grams. So we would need 1.32 grams of barium chloride dihydrate. Now, you would repeat this procedure with the other remaining boxes. So 0 0.0153 moles of moles of my uh, silver nitrate, and I will take that and multiply that times 1.69 grams of silver nitrate divided by one mole of silver nitrate, and I should get 2.58 grams of my silver nitrate. And I do that for the remaining boxes. Now what this tells me is that if I take 1.32 grams of my barium chloride dihydrate and mix that with 2.58 grams of my silver nitrate, and I do this right here based on the lab procedures given to me, I will make my 2 grams of my barium nitrate, which is what I'm trying to make. Now it also allows me to calculate what other products I would make, and in this case I would make 2.172 grams of silver chloride and 0.275 grams of water. So this is the procedure that you would follow anytime you need to calculate the amount of reactants that you would need to mix together to perform a, uh, an experiment if you need to make a certain amount of product.